pick. Yeah, it's a little worrying, Harry, but I'm willing to say when Astralis have their backs up against the wall, these guys, these players, these individuals, this Orc, they've been in these positions and they have more than enough times shown that, you know, we're not going to get grouped. We're not going to get dropped, you know, day three of the event. We want to come back. And so Fnatic have to deal with a very angry Astralis today who are already making a better read. Three on the pistol uh, towards the B-bomb site. And Fnatic are going contact. Two smokes. Nades ready. And it goes. Config drops it. Fnatic are running wild out the window. Blind is zipped underneath, but they don't clear him, do they? Late trade for Smooya. Crim's lovely shot to drop Config and Lucky tucked in at bench. It's only going to get one. Nice entries into B for Crims as now the bomb can get planted and there's a lurker up mid. Yeah, on this rotate, Glaive. Woo, it's nice. Crims on the receiving end of that one. He's tipped it back into the two on two, but do bear Alex in mind. Astralis certainly aren't and that might come back to haunt them here. Woo, he's playing the trigger discipline. Oh, that's dear. like my discipline right there. Oh dear, oh. he's wrapped, he's dealt with. And Glaive going to lock that round in with three, the hat trick. Yeah, Alex did a silent window jump as well from bench. I've never seen that before, actually. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It was like crouch, uncrouch in the air. Bit of a classic. But yeah, Astralis, despite them not holding on in the pre plan it's a quick retake. And when you have a flank like that, getting uh, able to you know isolate a 2v2 in the bomb site before Alex comes in, he can't clutch out. It's a default plant. Astralis on the board. And yeah, I, I do, like the point I just made, I want to reiterate, I do think that's the biggest takeaway. Like Astralis, they may not have looked like, you know, the best, <laughs> one of the best they've ever looked obviously yesterday on, on the opening day but that's only going to egg them on to play better today lucky's on a second round orb they've entrusted him with the big gun and i'm all for it he didn't look like the problem in that matchup especially on mirage where he saved astralis bacon many times he even brought them to overtime against k23 himself and he's putting that orb to good use back in ct mezzi's wondering how the hell this is in play and the nade is going to kill brolin Crims alone, coming out through a ramp in a 1v4, and they're just going to swing it. Yeah, they lock it in, right? No uh, no chance for a hero to get made here on the Fnatic side. Crims try as he might, right? No matter how many uh, how many he took down with him, he was pretty screwed. Right, if he took quad, four down he... with him, actually, he would have uh, no, well, won the okay, round, mate. That's true, yeah. I guess. Think about it yeah, that way. You're going to get me on the technicality. Yeah, I will. Oh, I, mean, I will. Them all, oh, I'll kill you on the technicality. Right. See, I've just had a perfect analyst next to me making foolproof points, Harry. You think I'm not going to be sharp and ready to shoot down everything you say? I won't, though. I'll be nice. The points I make are normally... Yeah, no, no, I'm, yeah you're, a, you're, a, you're a big brain, Harry. You're a smart mind. I'm like a, I'm like a knife. Yeah? Yeah. You know, like a... Sharp. Yeah, I'm sharp. That's the one. Yeah. Got there in the end. Just eeky weeky, and it's, I was going to say squeaky clean, but Smooya comes out lower, and Blame was not considering it, so Smooya want to get weird here. He will. Bye-bye, Config. Yeah. Nice oh, nade for Sid. That's what he's known for. And Brolin, a dink, but nothing more. It's 3-0 for Astralis. Fnatic coming in with a bye. Yeah, you know, two kills in a round like that. It's all well and good. Now Fnatic... This is where the uh, the going needs to pick up. I like that Smooth has already found a little bit of impact across these first few rounds. He was one of the, the slow starters the other day. It felt like as we saw him kind of build up into this, you know, the, the, the Fnatic squad rallied around him. You always want your AWPA stepping up. Also, you know, you said something earlier about how lucky didn't really feel like a problem at all yesterday. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. You know, it wasn't, wasn't spectacular, but uh, it was good. And also, I think it's important to remember the only reason that they were able to kind of stay competitive was because he won those those like back-to-back -back clutch rounds, taken yeah. out. I think it was like I'm pretty sure three of both goes it. One of them wasn't really a clutch; it was a two v four. But still, you know, he gets three of them. That certainly makes it feel a lot easier, doesn't it? So here we go. It's a little setup over here towards the B apartments early on, but they do go back in through spawn, and that's enabled because Brolin has been keeping this palace control the whole damn time. Astralis, pretty active mid setup. Three, now four strong here. Temporarily, the A site's actually empty. There is a world where you can hit like a very good timing here of your Fnatic. Glaive just moving in to drop a bit of util out into middle. But if he gets caught peeking from stairs, could be a scary way to lose your A site anchor. 
take ground here for Astralis, but if Glade can get one and leave, that'd be lovely. Smoo, you won't let it happen. Not on his watch. Alex cuts off a rotating mid, and there's the AWP gone. This is now a very awkward round for Astralis as they start to get closer on the stairs. Blame hides inside the smoke. Fnatic are aware of this gap. They played it against Big yesterday. Crimson's definitely going to clear this, although he doesn't full spam. Smoke fades. Brolin's got the drop. Beautiful headshot as a five on two commences. Astralis will not commit. Out they go. Config had a good timing T spawn, but he'll just be shutting them in to this A site, trying to save his gun. And he'll need to as well. Money is not good. Luckium uh, Zip Hat can buy and drop. Everyone else is struggling. If Config keeps this, it means Lucky can even AWP as Config sets up his teammate with a rifle. So massive importance on the save, but Smoothie right now has got Config's number in this game, killing him cat last round and now in T-spawn. Don't want to make Config mad. But Fnatic, a flawless, damageless round. Five alive and on the board. Considering how much the uh, the conversation used to center around Astralis utility usage, a, a damage, uh, sorry, a round where you don't take any damage yeah. is a pretty big deal, sure. right? So, uh, yeah, being able to navigate that initial buy round is lovely. And I will say, right, I think Astralis may be a better matchup for, for, for Smoothie here, right? He's someone who, at, at least, I don't want. I don't want right. to. You know. I know where you're going. No, yeah. I don't know. But you know, I think I think he's someone who who is like quite an emotional player, even though he, he's not. I don't mean that in a negative way that maybe it used to be well, associated it can be, it can with be good it, or bad, right? right? Yeah. But yeah, I think when it's big, when it's a team you've played on before, when there's that... Oh, oh my God, there's no window smoke. Oh, he, even man. he thought the smoke was going to come yeah. window. Hang on a moment. Too busy lining it up. Hang on a moment. Fights in middle. It's getting mad, weird. Harry. Deagle on config as well. Got that big config, Deagle. I'll revisit my smoother point in just a moment as... Mid fight kind of tapers off and they fall back into a more routine double setup over here in the B site. You'd love to get this gun off of Crims, right? If you're able to uh, to arm Config here and take that man advantage, it's huge. Ooh. So this next fight is a pretty big one. Crims does well to bring Zip down low. And they're going to leave Config with the responsibility of holding on to the apartments for now. Lucky playing CT towards Ticket, right? It's kind of an A retake setup with this AWP here to lay down cover and fire as Fnatic would attempt to move in, try to thin the herd before the retake. That's a lovely... Crims is so happy he just got spotted there. Now he can just bail and join them on this con split into A. Fnatic con splitting? That's crazy, dude. No way. Smooya setting up Brolin to drop utilities. It's going to be the CT market. Util, it doesn't matter. He's dead before he can get it out. What a great timing on that mid peak from Blame. They were just trying to fake out a B really hard. With Crims being spotted, with a smoke towards back market, that could have been everything for Fnatic. Instead, it's now obvious for Astralis what's going on. The bomb is only now getting retrieved. That's a light out shot. Crims sees the cat player. Orbs in CT. Alex will get traded, but the bomb makes it into A at least. Smuya trying to help out, trying to cover this plant. 10 seconds and nowhere is safe. Yeah, Lucky won't be able to stop the plant. Attempts the spam, but it is off the mark. Two players back here in CT, and this is info that Smuya could look to get from under Palace. Doesn't want to swing out wide. Ooh, never even given a chance. It's only Crims and oh, Lucky. That's okay. a lovely closer to the round. All right, both the orbs looking good to open this up. That certainly makes this a little more exciting. Lucky keeping a brave face on from yesterday. But going back to the smoother point, right? Yeah. In that big matchup, it's a team he's played with before. He's very familiar with a lot of the guys there, right? They're always talking, they're always hanging out. I think it almost makes it a little bit easier to get in your own head when it's someone you're super familiar with, especially yeah. a team that you used to be a part of, right? So when, like, you're getting wrecked and you're saying to yourself, oh, that's it, Tabson, mate, you're getting it this round, and then he takes yeah. your head off, it's like, oh. Tabson was wrecking smooth. And in <laughs> I mean, yeah. in the beginning, yeah. everyone was wrecking smooth. Then he kind of had, like, that, that late first map activation. Whereas, you know, going into a game like this, when, when you're against Astralis, where maybe you are, like, considered the underdog, but also you just saw Astralis lose that opening game to K23, I think... For someone again like Smoo, you know, in the in the in the strong emotions, positive or negative, that's only going to give you confidence. Like you're going to be saying to your team, "Come on, guys, it's Astralis. They just lost versus K23. Do we really think we're going to lose this? I don't think so. You know, I, I'd imagine there's going to be some fighting talk there in the Fnatic camp and some confidence. You know, whether that's well placed or not, we'll have to see what Astralis we get today. Already though, from five rounds in, Astralis are looking better. Lucky is is not missing at the moment. 
Nice little mid-peak timing for Blame. Essentially won that round. Without that peak from Blame, Fnatic fully fake out Astralis, and I actually think they fall for whatever that was going to be. Um, instead, Lucky goes very, very big. And I can now use that word, which is yeah. nice. I, I've seen people still try to tag Blame F as a beta. I think that's just unequivocally wrong with his role in Astralis. Oh, he just sat. Yeah, that one's a little he interesting. He was calling for a smoke. That one's a little interesting. He probably Glaive was saying... Glaive had a Glaive smoke. did have a smoke. Glaive just triple. watched him die. Well... <laughs> I've got nothing for that one. Glaive's like, yeah, you'll be fine, mate. You'll be fine. <laughs> Swinging out. Got to win this round now. Yeah, I mean, Glaive, you did just burn Blame F alive. So you better, you better milk the results of it. There's one, and Lucky's going to chime in with another. Oh. oh, the lineup is nice. And it's only Mezzi left, even though he's dealt with Config back in CT. Oh, can't quite convert the spray. And Glaive will at least get three. So, you yep. know, you say, yeah, sorry, Blame, bud, but I did go on to win us the round. So. Okay, let's just touch on that one thing we just saw. Glaive chose not to take the AK over the A1S. This is a theory, Harry. This is a working theory that some have, that the A1S is even better. Right? Especially if you, you know, a team that can utilize HE grenades as well as Astralis can, and you know you can get that early damage off, then you know your M4s are one shot. It shoots faster. It's silent. It's better for smoke spamming. There's a lot of reasons why why you would lean this way. And Astralis just chose not to take AKs in that round when they had plenty to pick from. Just just a small detail, but you know it's. Uh Wow, that just shows the power of the A1S. Never before has that happened. Fast out, Glaive again, blinded, but Lucky just hits every single shot right now. It's only Crims, and his entire team just got melted at Palace. Nice kill. Crims is looking a lot more switched on. We're early yeah. today, but his positions, his aim, everything I've seen from Crims, and I know they're losing, but he just looked a little out of it yeah, in, no, the, I in mean, the opening game. Know, we, we, we play and we watch a lot of Counter Strike, yeah. and you can tell when someone's just like having a bit of an off day right sure. it, it felt like it was it was just every peak he was taking was was so doomed be that something unfortunate to make you get in your head in the first place and then it just kind of looked like you know when you are just a bit out of it like crosshair placement just a little off or yeah or like going for sprays that maybe you normally wouldn't feel the need to even commit to just decisions getting a bit questionable here and there no, it's nice to see a more a more activated looking crims from the get go. Might not matter though if it's trying to keep up this reckoning on the CT side, right? End of the day, it's six one, and it should be a seventh, even with a beautiful deke from Brolin. Maybe the Swedes can bail Fnatic out of this Nordic matchup, but instead, this round should be of no interest. Stralis gonna lock in tight. They can flash a mid peak if they want. They have the util. Lucky's just. Re smoked con. I feel like Alex is one of these ideals who definitely builds into a game like, as he kind of gets an idea of what your protocols yeah. are, how you respond, right? There's not, not, that a, in big match. not a tremendous amount to go off of for, uh, for Astralis on Mirage. And so, you know, this is uh, applying okay. things that maybe you haven't necessarily seen them respond to before. And so, you know, I hope it I hope it turns around. I don't want a one-sided game as the one I get to cast today. You guys are the blinder early on. Yeah, all the rounds. As he will be alone with this Deagle. They've seen him, they know he's in middle, and no one's gonna move a muscle. Just not giving up any of the key areas. He can't go short. He can't make it up con. Can't jump into window. Where can you go at this point in time? Back to T spawn, maybe. The only problem is you've only got 25 seconds to get there. Zip spot a one-way ticket. And he'll pass that along, but actually choosing to fall off, making Mezzi make the magic happen. He's looking for a gun. Triple spot. Glaive, oh, he's playing for the deep now. Wants that one tap, swapping back. Oh, repeat red, but he can't kill Lucky. And I don't know who can cut right now. 10 and 2. Lucky is not missing a damn beat. Uh, that is that is amazing for Astralis right now, especially considering we've seen, you know, players like the Zip in that. BO3 versus K23 went absolutely stone cold, uh, especially on overpass on that B bomb site. Very quiet game from him. You know, Glaive, and, and I guess what Blame was obviously the attention. There were a lot of like kind of high kill but low impact rounds from him, but in general, like, he absolutely popped off that matchup. Fast out middle, Zip getting involved and will get traded, but there's more where that came from. And this is Crims coming in with the goods. Config, second orb, and shoots Brolin in the sky. Glaive is walking the con smoke, and Astralis just looks so much more confident today, and that is making all the difference. Lucky is now up in Palace, and this is something Fnatic will not know about. 
They don't walk early, and they won't because they have Mezzi here. Lucky gets that info, and Astralis can set up. I mean, they've already got the info. Glaive, who pushed out through Con, has gone lower and cleared B. Now Astralis know what's coming. Yeah, that's going to lead to this second AWP of Config already being here. Nice shot initially, but... You know, everything, every shot he fires off is only going to lull you into this false sense of security that that's the AWP, and it's not, mate. Lucky up in uh, up in Palace will come through. Now the missed shot for Config, not the end of the world just yet. Lucky's been Molotov's back, but here's that ramp flank arriving for Glaive, and this is a lot more put together. Glaive looking lights out, mate, playing with confidence right now. This is the Astralis we wanted to see on day one. And unfortunately, this is the Fnatic we saw on day one. <laughs> yeah, uh, but the difference oh. is there. Fnatic came alive, right? They, they suddenly remembered what they were doing. They suddenly figured out the one hole in Big's defense, and it was that Conto A. And all they would do is just vary up their ramp players. It would be Mezzi or Brolin swinging Palace. It would be, you know, or, or Brolin lurking under and coming through late connector or jumping up window. However, you know, Astralis know what, what, what happened in that game. They're not going to fall for the same play. Fast out mid, there's a gap in the smoke for Lucky to just abuse Brolin. And this is just a great start for Astralis. The reads are, are perfect right now. The AWP is slapping. Glaive's having a good one. We need someone to wake up and save Fnatic. They can window boost. That is one way in. Smear sends his ink over. And Alex goes for it. Lucky overwhelmed with a missed shot. Finally found Zip ready for Alex. And not quite the other way. Blame lurking connector. No surprise, but it's on the CT side. And Crims is going to drop in and check under Glaive looking up. Perfect kill for Crims. Smuya still in con, waiting in this smoke. It's a standoff for the flash. It's just saved Smuya. Or has it? Yes. Finally converts the spray. Does cross out over Config Zorb, who will be trying to flash that CT player back in. Crims has got the info, but he's also died for it. Bomb is only just getting here. It might be the time to leave. You have the clock for it. Oh, Caught in no. the open, fiddling with nades as Config hit the cat jump uh, or the window jump back and Messi now in the clutch with the bomb he can go quiet they never saw him here and that has at least put the seed of doubt in Astralis but Dude. even though they leave they can just group up and retake together look at the look at the reposition from config I love it he he recommits to the short jump yeah. to get back onto the catwalk this is originally where he fought from. You just saw him over in jungle. You're not going to be ready for him here. And this is great. It allows him to have some onus over the A site and the B site. But with Zip taking yeah, a swing, it's a little rough. Going to force Config to drop on down, rotate in, okay. flash out through Con has given up his position. And Mezzi has dropped in. He's looking for the oh. fight. And Config closes it out. Going up and over the stairs. He arrives just in the nick of time. I actually kind of like the decision to fight yeah. there from Mezzi, right? It, you, Config shouldn't have been so ready for it, but, you know, he's able to uh, adjust in time. Mm -hmm. Swapping off that AWP and onto the M4, what? I think, does him very well. That was it. Mezzi was, uh, he stuck for a second, and then he heard the AWP fire, and he's like, you know what? I can just swing while the AWP is down. I know he stares. I can win the angle. If I can get to triple, maybe I've got him locked in, and I still have the chance to plant. But it's the it's the shot into the swap for Config. It's so uh, swift. The, the, yeah, Mezzi's not ready for an instant swing of an A1S. Config very dialed in right now. Like you said, the cat to window to cat again. Just keeping it fresh, keeping Fnatic guessing. And all the guesses are misses right now, are losses. One round for the Brits at Astralis. This is more like it. This is more what we expected. And this is on a map that they looked pretty poor on just the other day. Only pistols for Fnatic. A faster round could be the name of the game. Quick flash out middle. Config now in the window for a change. It's an optimistic shot, but Blame instead will pick it up. Dropping Alex thanks to the flash of Lucky. We've got this triple B lean as well. Config has immediately left window after getting smoked out. That's just pushed him into this B site. There's another smoke. I wouldn't be surprised if Config jumps out. In fact, Blame will from Marco. That's 4B for Astralis. So Fnatic bailing, while they don't know it, is the best call they could have made. However, there's not long. Astralis will wait in the lull in this round before they leave. And that's lull with three L's, not L-U-L. -L. Nice try, Twitch chat. Yeah, man. Why are you guys always twisting Hugo's words like that? It's it's getting to the point where it feels like cyberbullying. I'm just going to yeah. come out and say it. You know, I didn't want to have to say it, but... I'm going to just turn off my screen right yeah. now. I mean, how's it real? You know, it's all in the box, isn't it? <laughs> Put the nightmare box away.
And here's a little play up the roof. Connector. Oh, Grimsy boy. Hello. Lovely opener with the Tech 9. And Blame F will get sandwiched over in jungle. Here's the rotation from Glaive. And while Crims is looking good, we've got to draw attention to the performance Glaive is giving us. Uh. Woo! Lucky! <laughs> God, he even tried Can't to land a that, chance yeah. shot to Smooya. Fair enough. And there's Glaive to close. Well, this is uh, this is pretty dominant, isn't it, Hugo? This yeah. isn't quite how I had this matchup pegged. No, this is uh, a destructive start, and especially considering Fnatic, who, yeah, slow. They, both of these teams were slow on this map to begin, but Strata still made that an overtime game. I guess they both did. Fnatic pulled it back T side, but I don't see the pullback happening here, Harry. I don't see them getting through this rock solid defense. Astralis's AWPs are popping off. Glaive is not missing. The mid control is really good for Astralis. They're not playing scared at all in middle. They look so much more confident in this game than they did versus K23, where we saw extremely passive setups where K23 could get away with whatever they wanted. Haven't seen many executes here for Fnatic, right? You know, something, e even what worked to Big Man, the default ace smokes into a, into Brolin lurking. It would be a really nice round to throw in here, but... You know, it's obviously implying that you're not in mid early. And you know who is in mid early? Astralis. Every round up in your grill. And there we go. Clicked off. Config loses his, his teeth. Only zip it B. And that could be the gap right now for Fnatic. They've got two up in apartments. Alex coming to join them. He's going to throw in some utility. Doesn't want to uh, announce this play too much. Crimson's going to contact in and zip with a lovely off angle. Is good for it. Smuya trying to trade. He doesn't know it's just a solo man, though. Lurk out Palace for Mezzi. Pushes Lucky off and gets him low. But Zip has swapped sides of the site. And the bomb, well, it's still here. It's on the back of Smuya alone. Dude, it's going to go towards A. Smuya's leaving. You know, they're not content. And, and with, Misread. with the fact that Mezzi, like, peaked out, it's not been uncommon. Oh, no. Hang on a moment. This could be some misinfo, but the bomb oh, also could dear. get discovered by Blame F. Oh, oh he's waiting. Dear. He's waiting. And that's the bomb. That should be the round with it. Oh, that is, uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, this is more Astralis completely swapping up how they played the round as opposed to a huge misread from yeah. Fnatic, right? Normally, whenever they've seen that AWP floating around CT, it's meant that Lucky's been so low or maybe had a bit of support from, you know, like a Glaive or Blame over yeah. towards Window and Jungle. But largely, when you see that AWP there, it's meant that they've kind of lent into this early lean over at the B site. With Zip getting that kill, it only sells it further. You saw how hesitant Smuya was to try and trade that they never had info as to what was going on at B and, and prior to that you know they'd even lost Brolin on, on like the the lower push so there were a lot of signs that that was a, a bit of a B lean for Astralis in reality they had control of T-Spawn now they're pushing middle again and Blame F wins the opening fight this is devastating the pistols have been torn through the mid aggro is so, oh. so punishing. Fnatic, they feel like they're never given the room to do what they want to do in this game. And even when they have been given it, it's always weird, like these weird caveats of info plays happening on the one gap that's available. This is a mixture of really nice cooling out of Astralis, really nice aggro, and also just this idea that we have everyone actually, you know, <laughs> alive and well today yeah, for the day. activated, Danes. warmed in. I'm sure they've been getting the prac going, some DM this morning. Can well, I just, before you yeah, make your point, yeah, yeah, go. hilarious. Fnatic threw a bunch of HE grenades into the window. Lucky was window. Uh, he threw a nade as well, and then he left. He got three damage off with triple nades from Fnatic. He, he, somehow Lucky read that and dodged it from the top mid smoke. He's on one. Yeah, you know, I think the thing is, as we kind of said, the Fnatic loss to Big is a lot more respectable. It's a lot more understandable for Astralis. Like, come on, man. This is, this is like the team of CS, you know, like this is the team that entered like a golden era that no one's been able to reproduce yeah. in the same way. They've got really high ambitions. They've got high aspirations, even with the change of roster. You know, they're not showing up yeah. going, yeah, we're ready to be a tier two team again, boys. You know, this is this is them wanting to try and rebuild a legacy. And so losing a K23, a K23 that then came out and said, we weren't even practiced, by the way. <laughs> you know, like that, that only, that is only going to ignite the fire beneath you more. And a part of me wonders, 
maybe Fnatic came into this one today feeling like there was a lot they could have exploited here for Astralis on Mirage, but this is looking like an entirely different team to the one we saw K23 go up against. Little B pop now, and Zip gets that information ahead of time. He is dead right away, but Config on the short side drops the bomb out in the open. Oh. The trade's denied. This is clean for Config. He manages to double up, and there's even this fast flank from Glaive. Much like the pistol, Alex has made that jump into window. Blame's heard something because you can see he's still hanging around, but he's going to have to go through this murder hole unless he jumps up Catwalk and, yeah, he's a dead man. He knew something was up. He just didn't know where he was. Alex waiting for a rotate and the both players back turn. Hello, they're looking at the same angle. No communication from Fnatic. And somehow he's made his way in. He thinks it's a short play. Alex is already out marketing Glaive almost Ooh. with the 1v3. Both Fnatic players are staring at the same angle. I don't know what happened there. Dude, so they were looking at the deep window, and obviously, like, Glaive crouched and kind of crossed it wide on the right-hand side. So he got past that initial yeah. view in that they were both watching at window. And and then it gets super awkward, because as far as Smoothie is aware, who's scoped in, by the way, they can't be out platform. Crims, he's been staring at the same spot. He's fallen under the same illusion that Smoothie has that no one could have gotten past. As far as they're concerned, mate, Glaive is like some ghoulish apparition that's just appeared in the bomb site. Oh. He's returned to domination here on this lower tunnels play. Oh. Lucky lights out with the AWP. This is more like it from this guy. This is the man we were promised. We'll eventually see one of these orbs fall, but that's not the one that's been causing you problems, Config. On the receiving end of Brolin's AK, they're going to try and play around this uh, this ramp smoke, right? Allows you to cross to Tetris. If you try to peek that on the left through the little one-way gap... Ooh. Oh, I was going to say, Lucky's holding it. But Brolin's just a little bit faster. Still in with a chance. Not impossible. There is a big flank from Zipnix coming in. So the slower oh. this round is, the more impactful that rap becomes. Blame F, aware of this fact, hasn't swung right away. Oh. And runs out of ammo in the fight versus Brolin. Oh, if no, he he's going to go back. back. Zip's already here, mate. Now he fell, <laughs> and that's a done deal. Astralis 13 2 wow. to close out this first half of play. Uh, there's nothing bad to say about Astralis. This is exactly what we wanted out of them. It's such a confident display. We never had this, this kind of gameplay in the K23 game. Sure, the defaults were a lot more regimented, and K23's T side defaulting was, was very good. And so when Astralis did attempt aggressive stuff, it, it, it never worked. But like, Astralis have pulled this in from round one. They've been playing in Fnatic's face uh, and their own game since round one. They've not been sway uh, swayed away by anything from Fnatic and have no reason to be at 13 to two. So yeah, it's, uh, it's oh, I'm going to call it an unlosable game at this point. Fnatic, they'd love a pistol round, but there's a bit of cope here, I think. Blame, he's seen something. Oh, no, he hasn't. Alex snuck right through Palace and Fnatic, it's at least a, a strong start to the pistol round. Will it stay that way? Coming up connector for two. Roland's gone. Fire baiting for him. Will they clear this corner? Lucky he is. Lucky he's just not missing. He is tuned in. Oh. And he is electric right now. Two kills off the Glock. Taking that plant away. Crims dead to the cover of Zip. And now with a 2v4. It may have been the man advantage. Oh. But a double headshot <laughs> for Lucky. And this guy is is looking like a beast right now. This is not the player that you expect to be talking about in a team with blame and config and zip. But he is stealing uh, yeah. the show. I I'll be honest, mate. I, I thought Lucky was, what you know, in, in my family we say OBT on borrowed mean? time. Oh, okay. Right. I, yeah. I thought, I thought Lucky was on borrowed time in this Australian sure. squad. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, you know, That's what it felt like exactly right? Right? Earlier, last year. Kind of, kind of, kind of weak performance overall. Right. Yeah. Didn't really, didn't really fit in the idea of like trying to build this this championship roster. At least the first look definitely made you feel that way. Yeah. And then you see you, Astralis not taking him off the orb. Well, exactly right. Yeah. yeah you, you lose confidence in his orping. You have Glaive donning it over him a bunch. Uh, and then then you bring in like Blame F and Config. Suddenly it's like, oh, they are trying to build this championship yeah. roster, but that guy's still there. Huh, what's happening? And hey, you see, uh, you but see mate, he's come back from this player break. It's yep. clear he's been putting in some time. It's clear he's been putting in some effort. And hopefully, you know, they've kind of put a bit more confidence in him. One thing I'll say, you can note in the calling that they've got a lot more faith in Lucky than they ever had before. I mean, they were literally taking the guy off the orb, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pre-player pre, pre break. Um, 
Whereas now, time and time again, they'll trust him to like anchor a bomb site alone with the AWP. They'll trust him to go for early peaks. He's given a lot of freedom here, and it looks like it's serving him well. Yeah, it's almost like when you're feeling good, you're playing good, right? And so I'm sure that reflects in in his own head, right? He's probably practice probably gone very well. And as Astralis, you know, as we see them trusting him, he's trusting himself and he's believing in himself, and that can be very daunting. You know, especially to join a team of this caliber of uh, this organization to play with these players. But you know, the the better you do, the more it's self perpetuating. The more uh, things start to flow as they should. Crims with a nice dig, but it is going to be traded in a two on two now. Zip coming up, Con trying to cross into the bomb site. Smuya doesn't want to go through. He just doesn't have the weaponry for it. With a default plant, Blame can cover CT. It's not the gun you want, but there's just no challenge there. Smuya gets burnt. Oh my goodness into the jungle right now mezzi he's got to go ape 1v2 Mate, he's having a rough old time there mezzi has consistently been like this last guy alive and thus far you know hasn't really delivered anything admittedly you want v2 versus astralis right in so many of these rounds but this might be another where he moves in oh. and isn't able to find a damn thing it's no good for the confidence yeah. either at 3 and 16 and you've always been this guy like given clutch situations given opportunities admittedly pretty horrible opportunities yeah. but it's not going to do worlds for how you're feeling I mean, how you're a, looking he's a clutch player right like this guy is there's so many highlights of mezzi in these 1v2s he's so good at these positions uh, mechanically very gifted as well. So, yeah, I, I think this game's a write-off. This map, at least, you're already thinking about nukes. Astralis certainly are. They're ready to lock in their pick. Hey, Harry, I, you know, we wanted a, a competitive game today. I don't know what we're getting. I, I, I'm certainly enjoying this look from Astralis when I was, in my head, doom and gloom after yeah. that game against K23. I'm just going to say what we're all thinking. K23, best team at the event. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Well... <laughs> Who knows, mate? Who bloody knows? It's either that or ecstatic. So, dude, oh, dude, oh. Bird from Sky. Oh, Kaka! Kaka! Here we go. Messi and Alex. Can they pull back a two on five? The odds would no. stand against them here. Astralis looking to make this a very clean game and show that yesterday was a bit of a sleeper from them. Messi made it a little more interesting, especially with this ramp flank coming in. Ooh, lucky. Not like a little player, but he's still going to find the frag, isn't he? 16 to 2. And Astralis dominate Fnatic in the opener to this series. That was Fnatic's map pick as well. And so now, you know, with Nuke staring us down the barrel, it's, uh, it's a little bit scary. It's a bit of a scary time to be a Fnatic fan. Yeah, uh, you know, Nuke.